Congress party in Kerala has demanded an explanation from the ruling CPIM leadership and the state industries department after the center ordered a probe into the financial transactions between a private minerals company and uh, the IT company run by Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan's daughter Veena. The Ministry of Corporate Affairs ordered the investigation following allegations that payments were made to Veena uh, and its firm without any services being rendered. The Congress party has sought clarification on this matter. All right, complaints of violation by an IT firm and the Congress party obviously is uh, upset about this. The Congress has demanded a response from the CPI about these irregularities and how they could affect their relationship. Raju Lakshmi Joshi, political analyst, joins me on the phone line to talk more about this. Raju Lakshmi, well, you know, another problem for the India Alliance and another problem for uh, uh, the Kerala government. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, good afternoon, Vineet. Uh, you know, this uh, this stiff between the Congress and the CPIM doesn't seem to end. You know, especially uh, when it comes to Kerala. And uh, I am uh, surprised as to how they are going to be able to get into the India Alliance. See, this uh, issue has not uh, suddenly sprung up. The, there have been uh, talks about this. There have been protests against this by the Congress, by the UDF, uh, right from August, actually. And in fact, you know, uh, there's a very, uh, there's a hilarious turn of events there in August. Uh, if you remember that uh, what had happened is uh, that uh, the Congress was apparently going to put it up in the assembly. And uh, they had, they were, uh, they were uh, warning the uh, left, uh, uh, the CPIM that they are, they will definitely bring this up in the uh, assembly uh, discussion. And what happened is at the last minute they did a flip flop because they realized that in the IT allegations in the center, uh, there were mentions of some uh, uh, some uh, payment being made to UDF uh, members also. So they had to pull out at the last minute and they could not do it. So this actually looks like, you know, what they're trying to do is they don't want to lose the state because, uh, you know, uh, in this uh, in uh, in the state of Kerala, you remember that it was always a matter of, uh, you know, for uh, one term there is going to be CPIM and the other term there is going to be the Congress in the alliance. And, uh, but that did not happen in the last elections. So they don't want to lose the state. So they need to have some issues to pull up the CPIM about. But at the same time, they don't want to uh, lose the alliance at the, in the uh, India alliance. And, uh, you know, another thing is that they themselves, a lot of them are also involved in this. So they're not bringing it up in the assembly, but they want to keep the issue alive. So they want to show as if they are actually protesting against it, but they're not really doing anything about this, Vineet. Hmm. Well, do you think that this could also further, you know, sort of uh, create a friction between, uh, you know, the kind of integrity and optics that the India Alliance is trying to create? Yes, absolutely. See, if you look at it, in almost every state that you look at, there are some, uh, there is some friction or the other. Like in Kerala, you have this huge friction between the CPIM and the Congress, and the, and similarly, you have another situation between the uh, uh, between the TMC and the Congress, where the Congress is blatantly saying we don't need the TMC, and the TMC also is saying that we are not going to give them any seats because they have won hardly one or two seats in the last elections, and uh, I think the left is a little confused about what to do because in Kerala they are against them, but in the in West Bengal they have no option but to go with the Congress. So, you know, in these two states, it's absolutely going to be very difficult. And again, in Punjab and in Delhi, the Ahmadmi party is up in arms saying that we are the most prominent uh, opposition party in the entire North India. So then that is why we are going to be the ones contesting all the seats. So it's, it's going to be difficult for them to get the seats there. And in Uttar Pradesh, if you look at it, just uh, see how actually Akhilesh Yadav has gone so far ahead as to say that uh, Samajwadi party should be given the seat to be contested from Amethi. So, I mean, just uh, imagine that the Congress stronghold of Amethi, which was, I mean, it was once upon a time a stronghold, and uh, now it is obviously the uh, MP there is Smriti Rani ji. But Akhilesh Yadav thinks that he has a better chance in Amethi than, um, uh, you know, the, the Gandhi Parivar. 
so you know in almost all the states in all the regional all the regional parties seem to think that they're doing much better than the congress in all these states so there is definitely a lot of friction so you know it's not a very smooth task for the congress at all so they are going to have a lot of issues so even though balikarjun khadge ji uh, is uh, appointed as the head of the alliance but i think that he is he has an uphill task uh, getting the, the uh, seat uh, distribution especially in the uh, states where there are these regional parties in dominance and uh, again they you know where there is a direct contest between the bjp and the congress the congress is fire faring very badly in the last uh, couple of elections so you know it's going to be extremely difficult for the congress to even maintain the number of seats that they had the last time round for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon